What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 149 of my Pokemon Showdown Random All series. And on the last episode we managed to pick up three victories in a very disjointed episode. It was cut into three parts really. Because I couldn't remember how many battles we've had. And that takes our win-loss ratio to 241 wins, 203 defeats, which puts us on a 38 game differential at this point. So let's go on the way with Balmore and hopefully increase that game differential a little bit okay a latios that's a little problem it is a problem because it outspeeds is the main problem there question is do i predict a switch i should have predicted a switch i knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it what is he going for i think i tail go I don't know what Bastiodon is going to go for. Those are toxic. A surf will now kill. And down goes the Bastiodon. Or Bastiodon. Whichever way you like to say it. Okay. So we are outsped by quite a lot of things because we only base 100. There's a swell of that outspeeds me, for example. Goes for protect, so he gets a gust, guts boost. Good play. This may kill this facade. Gripper won't. Should have went facade. Probably would have killed. Would it. It's base 70, isn't it? Goes to base 4, 140. So yeah, it was more powerful than Brayford. So if he had it, I don't know why he didn't go for it. Mac Punch? Only thing I think he would go for here. How does that not kill? Okay, Mac Punch is 100% coming here. And... Come on, let's do Mac Punch. Manaphy has no priority. So where's your Mac Punch? Sucker Punch. Fair enough. Um, let's go. What's your speed? 207 miles. So Miss Magius outspeeds you. But I don't want to be hit. Let's go Arctic Wheel. And let's go for the Hurry. Please drive. Boost is not going to kill, is it? Oh, Hurricane, please hit. Stop, 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 stop. Boost Dry will kill because he's learned a special defense with the close combat. There's the Mac Punch. There's the Freeze Dry. It didn't kill. So I have to take another hit, but it's only going to be a Mac Punch. Sucker Punch was more powerful. Sucker Punch is base 80. Mac Punch isn't super effective, so we only went to base 60. Because of the stab. Um, I could see a Drain Punch coming through here. So let's go Miss Magius. A Rock Slide. Interesting player there. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. He's got sturdy, so I can't kill him this turn. <coughs> Although him switching out is very risky. Yeah. Very risky. Because I outspeed. So he basically sacked off a Latios to save a Regirock. Which I don't think was the best play. Down goes the Mega Latios. You would have outsped. No, you wouldn't. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be the end of battle number one. Let's go on to battle number two. So we've got at least one win in today's episode. Strapta versus the Moltres. Let's go out into Lantern. 
of Vaporia. Let's go landfill. Willow. That's part of why I switch. Let's go Hydro Pump. A good switch. Let's go Dragalge. Leech Seed, that is perfectly fine. Because he cannot stay in. And Scald's a two shot, and I got a burn. That's gorgeous. Because now Armaldo goes down. I don't take any Leech Seed damage this turn. And I think I just let myself go down here. That's fine with me. And now we go out into... Do we have anything really good? Not really. Let's go Cradilly. And we will go for the Rock Slide. It's good against two of his Pokemon. That is super effective. That does more. And it got disabled. Of course it did. Giga Drain should do enough. It doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Of course. Why would it? Why would it? Of course we get frozen. Lovely. Let's go Skull. Fair enough, you kill off my Vaporeon. It's not the worst thing that could have died there. Let's go... Swooba. No. Let's, yeah, let's go Swooba. Unpheasant. So this is a battle of the birds. Let's go for the Psychic. It's a 2 hit KO. And Night Slash is a 1 hit KO, obviously. Especially with a critical hit. Now let's go for... Watch your speed? 260. Well, watch your speed. Halfway between those, that's 120 gaps, so about 200. It's gotta be less than 200. What? And Pheasant's quicker than Staraptor. I did not know that. Let's go Brave Bird. Oh, come on. Don't put me to sleep. I hate things like this. Sleep is the most annoying thing in the world. Go down to the life orb damage. And now I go lantern. Can't put me to sleep. So let's go for the volt switch because it will kill. I got another crit. Annoying. Let's go clear deadly. Please be terrible, your last one went. Holucha is not a terrible last one going to have. Which is on full, isn't it? Um, let's go rock slide. We're gonna lose. Yeah. And then lantern. And we go for the T bolt. Actually, we'll have to go heal bell. High jump kick hits. Takes us out. So we're 1 1 so far for the episode. Let's go on the bottom of 3. Jolteon versus Oluxray. I don't know who this is more advantageous for. Probably my opponent. Let's go for the facade. No, let's go for the ice fan. Well, that was gorgeous. What just happened? <laughs> 
Well, he owed speeds, but that was a lovely clear. Lovely way to start the battle. Let's go Crowbat. Outrage, Al. But we get the killing. So. It's a double down, but that's fine. Because now we can go for our mano match so far, looks rare. Right? Against the Tyrantron. I should have speech in like 215. Yes, I should. Let's go super far. That doesn't kill somehow, despite being guts boosted. Well, we can go Alakazam, I guess, yeah? And. What's your ability? Strong Jaw. That's not the best ability to copy. Um, we could go with you and go for Grass Knot. I think we'll do that. Go in for the go for the Grass Knot. We'll do enough to kill. Plus, we'll have a full health in Furnip and against whatever. Jolteon's a possibility, but it's more likely to be one of these unseen ones, yeah. So let's go for a. Grass Knot would be base 80, I think. No, it would be base 120. Which is the same as close combat. Let's go Cacto. And now let's go Seed Bomb. Please go like Scald or something. Please don't have Ice Beam. Yes, thank you. In power, not very effective. Let's get the plus two attack now, and let's go for the sucker punch. Okay, Jolteon switches in. That's fine. Wish I had gone substitute, but it's not the end of the world. Take out the Jolteon. Pidgeot comes out. Well, we'll have to watch out for this. Let's go Sucker Punch. He did go for an attacking move, which means he takes us out. But that's not the end of the world. Golbus comes back in, probably. Although I now know I can kill it. So I'm not that worried about it. 286 max speed on a Pidgeot. That's more than Infernape, isn't it? What's he going to switch out into? It's either going to be the Gorbis, which is going to die to anything I want, and or this non-revealed Pokemon. My opponent does not seem confident. Because they're not making a move. So I will bring you back when they do switch out. And my opponent forfeited eventually. Well, they lost due to inactivity because they didn't make a move. Don't know why. They were in quite a good position. I think we had the game in the bag, but they were in a decent position, not knowing my last two Pokemon. Anyway, that's going to round up this episode. We finished with two wins and one defeat, I believe, in that episode, which puts us on 243 wins, 204 defeats. Which means we have a 39 game differential, if I'm reading that correctly. Yes, we have a 39 game differential. And yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you keep up to date with everything going on on the channel. And from me, Corvus95, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.